Hey everyone, it's Nick with Gold Coast Flooring and today I'm doing some carpet repairs in Roseville, California and I'm taking care of some pet damage at some of the doorways in this home and I'm also going to give you guys some tips on how to do a flawless carpet repair and have the carpet running in the right direction. So the first thing I like to do is kind of mark out the area that I'm going to be cutting and I do that with a Crane 367 uh, residential row finder. They have one for commercial too, um, but this one I, I found is pretty nice to use to find out how to uh, separate the fibers and make a clean cut. Now after cutting out all the damaged areas, I go and get a piece out of a closet that's big enough to cover all the areas. And as you can see, carpet's on a grid and it has two sets of lines. One's solid and one is kind of um, clear. You can kind of see it better there. And so you just want to make sure all the carpet is running in the right direction first before making any cuts. Then of course you want to make sure the carpet fibers are running in the right direction which I'll have to make a video another time uh, with some easier carpet. This carpet's really hard to tell. And after that's done, I trim the pieces into place and seam them down with a wallpaper steamer. And here's the after results. As you can see, it looks very good. And with this kind of carpet, it's so thick that you have to get the the cuts right they have to be very close or else you will notice it um, with kind of shag carpet where the fibers are more loose um, you kind of you have a little bit of room to play with but with this carpet you have to be very precise so thanks for watching and hopefully this helped you out with your carpet repair thanks everyone